a great deal. And on top of that, oh, oh surplus. Sid Nation TV. So, because we've been eating so much, um, what do we call it, fatty foods and... Delicious food. Well, yeah, Maccas and HSPs and all that kind of thing. The truth is, we don't do that all the time. We actually do something where we have two meals a day. One meal is really clean and the other one's got a little bit of wiggle room. And we also do something called IMF. The International Monetary Fund? No! intermittent fasting oh. so you fast for 16 hours and eat in an 8 hour window so we begin ours at 12 p.m. and the last meal has to be before 8 p.m. and today we will show you how we do a meal prep for the whole week with roughly about $50 or less worth of ingredients depending on how much your supermarket charges you First we have INGREDIENTS! Brown rice Chili Lots of chili Garlic Minced Cause we're lazy Chicken tits Kale Cause we're, like, we're a little bit like hipsters <laughs> With all the obnoxious annoying bush We also have Master Foods Cajun seasoning Chili flakes Himalayan pink salt you can use regular salt, but this one's just so much prettier. Oh, I forgot. Bag of veggies. I also have some coriander, and that tomato's just there because I had it lying in the fridge. Don't laugh. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Uh, I don't know what's the deal with fish sauce, like whether that's vegan or not. Like. I guess technically not. I've heard of vegans who've eaten fish sauce. If you're vegan and you want to follow these recipes, just eliminate the fish sauce and the chicken tits. And what I guarantee is you will have a horrible time and not enjoy a single bit of it. But hey, you're vegan. Prepare the chicken tits. So I want to talk a little bit about the chicken tits. Um, I kind of prepped it ahead of time. What I did is I sliced it. So one tit, depending on the size of your tit. <laughs> Fucking camera stand. <laughs> Broke. So depending on the size of your tits, in this case, what you see here, this is one tit. We've got big tits here down under. So one tit will get you about one, two, five, six pieces. And what I've done is I've sliced them into probably like that, like half inch thick slices, and then I've given them a good bash to even out the size of it so it cooks fairly evenly over that we've put a little bit of that sea salt a bit of the master food seasoning and some chili flakes now there's a lot of chili in these recipes not only because we love chili but also because chili increases your metabolism so here's some I prepared earlier we're gonna chuck these into the oven which is set to 180 degrees roughly on fan forced. Now I don't know how long it cooks for because I just eyeball everything. The remaining chicken tits over here, what we're going to do is we're going to pan fry these ones. Now pan frying is not ideal because we're going to have to use a little bit of oil, but I realize not everyone has an oven at home. So we'll show you how to do that if you don't have an oven too. Kick the rice. Brown rice, better than white rice because it has the fiber. And you guys just follow the instructions on the packet on how to cook it. I'm not going to go through that. So pretty sure brown rice gets a minority advantage. Oh, definitely. Prepare les legumes. And then this is what this is Tuscan kale, or as the Italians call it, cavolo nero. I thought that you're going to call it kale, cavolo nero, which means black cabbage, I think. Oh, interesting. Um, it's not black to me, but <gasps> anyway. This stalky bit, we don't want. No stalk. Now, you can save these and chuck them into your soup stock bases to make your soups. But I'm not going to bother today. Just grab them together. 
you do want to wash these because every now and then you find worms in them, like caterpillars, which they're probably good for you too. Unless you're a vegan. I don't know. I think these vegans like insects. I don't know a lot about vegans. So we want to give it a fairly fine cut because this is quite a fibrous vegetable. Don't, you know, get too fucking pedantic about it and it's not meant to be pretty like We'll do another video another day when you're trying to impress someone, you know, like cooking if you want to get laid, then oh. yeah, you do a lot more fancy shit and all that. But this is just pure function, right? It's just meant to be functional, it's not meant to be pretty. So we have a massive bowl of kale here. This is one bunch of kale. Um, I don't know how the kale comes wherever you're from, where you're buying it from. But roughly a bowl that size is what we're going to use. Now we've got two types of chilies here. Here's the regular Australian chili. Here's the bird's eye chili. Now this one is hot. This one not so. Oh, really? How much chili you put in is entirely up to you. I've got about I don't know, three of these ones and two of these. So what we want to do, halve it slice little strips or as the French say Julienne Is that what that is? Yes, this is Julienne My favorite kind of Julienne is more oh. And then you turn it around to dice it I don't know what the French call dice Dice This guy behind the camera is a freaking idiot <laughs> Some okay. people will also show you like Oh, DC the chili Why? Why? What for? Man up, alright? This is a waste. Yeah, why are you seeding the chili for? You're ruining it. Same thing with the long one. So, question from the layman. These two chilies, are there a difference in flavor as well as with the spice? Not really. They're about the same. Nice thin strips. Julienne. I wonder if it's called Julienne because the guy who invented this technique is Julien. Cocky bath. My name is Julien. Yeah, well, French cooking's, um, obviously, I'm not trained as you probably have figured out. Really? Yeah, but, you know, I think French cuisine or, like, you know, techniques to cooking is what, you know, classical music is to music. That's why French cooking is referred to as classical, French classical cooking. Oh. So you learn a lot of the basic techniques, you know, saute. Um, Blanche, Blanche, Julienne, uh, Had Bird, Seth Bird. Nah, they've got all their own terms that nobody can pronounce or understand. Or Flambe is another one, which is not really used commonly. Yep, Flambe is another one. What would you usually use? Uh, you know, like, would you Flambe something? What would you Flambe? Yeah. The English. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Got to the Yes, yes. Suddenly this video just goes viral in France. No oh, education at all. So that's all the prep we need done. Washing. Later. Cure le chicon. Let's do the tits first. Come on, come around this side. Let's have a pan here. Oh, this tiny bit took more oil than I wanted, but that's alright. I, I don't get like why people buy all these pans with the red dot in the middle. Like, oh, when the red dot lights up, it's hot. It's hot. Like, you know, I touch it. Like, you know, when it's hot. <laughs> Spatula. Oh, actually, not really. It's like a wooden spoon. It's um, what um, older generation Asian parents used to beat their children. So it doubles up. It's yeah. okay now. You cook, they come over, smack. <clears throat> so we want it screaming hot. That's what like Jamie Oliver says. Screaming. Shut up, dog! <laughs> <laughs> Never work with children and animals. Next week, special ingredient is dog. Oh, we do Thai style cuisine. Yeah, I don't know about dog, man. I, think, I don't know what's the nutritional... You can feel it, alright? And you can see the oil as well, you know, when it starts to get hot, the way it reacts, it starts to, a tiny bit of bubble start forming. 
And if you really don't know, if you're an absolute spastic, just drop a little flick in there. You see, it starts to bubble a bit. I see that. It's kind of jumping. All right. So when it comes to pan frying anything, yeah, you actually don't want to overcrowd your pan. Like, there's actually too much chicken for the size of this pan. If you overcrowd it, you don't get that nice sear and then the food actually starts to steam more than pan fry. But in this case, I kind of want to steam it so it doesn't matter. Okay. down and flip it in a little bit how long should you cook your chicken breast for well until the salmonella is gone Pochon control you tabby bastard the big thing about the meal prep today is um it's about portion most people get portion wrong um in the asian diet there are way too many carbs in their diet not enough protein definitely not enough vegetables now what we are trying to do this meal is the amount of protein is really for someone who's like training every day you want to get a good amount of protein into these meals if you just sit on your ass all day and do nothing you can still have this meal but maybe you don't need that much protein have a bit more of the veg all right I'll trim down now back to the sanky crazy uh, if you have a look at the chicken when you're pan frying as you can see, around the edges starting to go white, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you can see it's starting to get cooked. So once that happens, that's a bit thicker. Let's put it on the smaller pieces. Oh, look that's at that. Beautiful. Oh, it smells great. Oh. See, I know there's a healthy meal, but like, I gotta say, it. There's the misconception that healthy meals have to be, you know, they don't have to taste good, but this smells just brilliant. Well, I love chicken. this is not a super, super strict meal, but the idea of these is that if I make it way too clean, right, you're not going to be able to sustain it and do it every day. So this is something that you can do every day. And if you have something coming up, like let's say you got a photo shoot or you have to be naked on TV for some reason, Ooh. then for a week or two, you can go into a crazy clean one or even for three, four months. But this is just for... Lifestyle. Exactly. Maintaining a nice, healthy, consistent lifestyle, you know, a good diet. Um, how do you know it's cooked? Like, you can sort of feel it, the firmness of when it's done. I can't tell you what it is, I just know it. And worst come to worst, cut it open and check. If it's raw, you know, you get diarrhea and then you learn. If you cook your poulet in the oven, now the one in the oven, because our light is busted, is a little bit tricky. Okay, you can have a peep. Like it's already starting to cook. This is the cleaner option, so no oil, just cook it in the juices. there. <laughs> and this should be just about done. Yeah. Okay. Take it off the heat. Pan's still a bit hot. Now we're gonna fry up the veg. Saute your vegetables! There's a lot less than I would normally use, but we're not cooking for... Allow Look, me. This meal is gonna taste alright. It's not gonna be the tastiest meal you've ever had. But here's the thing, it's all about compromise, yeah? You have one meal a day where you get to eat more or less what you want that's real tasty and shit. And then the other meal you eat really clean. You can't always be partying all the time, right? Like sometimes you got to go to work. You work Monday to Friday and then you get wasted on the weekend. Need Think the of it that way. Your other meal is you're getting wasted. This is your work. And I sometimes you just go full on. You work all the time. Ding, le poulet est fait. Let me take that chicken off the heat. I don't want it to get too cooked. That is lovely. So we will also put up the ingredients in the description 
if you don't pay attention. You can take notes. Alright, this is pretty hot. Resume the legume. First thing in, like we said, French. Saute the chili! God damn. Oh, that looks beautiful. There's gonna be some strong pungent fumes coming from this. That's mighty fine. How much garlic? Well, whatever you want, because I personally do not believe you can have too much garlic. Oh, that's a big one. That's an Italian thing. Or Chinese thing. It's a garlic thing. Never been looked at. It's a lot of garlic. It's just spicy meat about it. Just a bit of garlic. This is Kazakhstan cuisine. All right, watch your heat as well, yeah? So here come the kale. Once again, this is too much kale for the size of the pan. So what will occur is more steaming than frying. Damn. It is a uh, very strong, strong smells. That's the water. The rest of our steamed bag veggies. You can't just buy vegetables and top them up. It's cheaper, but. You know, I'm lazy as well. Well, you got okay. some prepared, and some are a little bit more fast track. So at this stage, apart from the garlic and the chili, there's no actual flavor. And this is where our non-vegan friendly friend comes in. Fish sauce! Uh -huh. Fish sauce! Fish sauce! Those of you that don't know, fish sauce is made by fermenting, which is a fancy word for rotting fish guts. <coughs> you essentially like squeeze the fish into a sauce, right? No, they just put them into jars, salt them, and let them <coughs> rot in the sun. Oh shit. That's so where the can, flavor comes from. You can see that massive bowl of kale has kind of cooked down, right? A lot of it's water. Alright, now it's also important to taste your food at all points. Sauce. It's sauce. Every time you can't just say it. it's like no though. You can't just say fish sauce. Coriander. People are very divided on coriander. Some people hate it. I think it's quite delightful. I used to hate it, but it grew on me. You're converted. Well, what's what's wrong with? I don't see. I mean, I I know it's a, it's a really fragrant kind of <coughs> herb, but um, yeah. I don't, what's the big deal, man? Now, you don't want to cook it too much. Alright, I'm going to put the heat on now. Because we still, the longer you cook it, the more you break down the fibers in the kale, and that kind of defeats the purpose. You want it nice and fibrous. So, look at that. Like, that's just a beautiful medley of vegetable. Oh, wow. Now, kale is not cheap in Asia. But, like, it's a good veg, and, like, it's still cheaper than eating it. So, now again, let's taste one more time. It's good. Mm. Now we assemble. Assemble! Pochon et pochonine. Wow, what are you getting out plastic containers for? Because we're preparing the meals ahead of time, right? It's a lot of containers. Well, let's see how many we get. How many we got here? Eight? I think we will get more than eight, but let's see. So once again, this was approximately $50 worth of food, all right? That's really good. If $50 can get you eight portions, that could feed you for like, what, two, three days? 
Well, here's the thing, you only have to eat one of these a day. Wow. So essentially you've got a diet plan lined up for about eight days, a week. Yeah. And also to break the monotony, you also have cheat day. So you get a bowl roughly around this size, all right? I don't know if you can tell how big this is. It's not huge, put it that way. That's a spoon. That's the size of the bowl. It's not very big. Bowl. That's your rice. That's your rice portion. One, two. Okay, about four decent sized tablespoonfuls. Veg, you can pretty much have unlimited amounts. Time pour les finitions. Chickens down. Cool down. Ding the chickens down. Alrighty, that chicken's just come out of the oven now. So we've got eight portions, but realistically what I've cooked is more than eight. There's still a fair bit of rice left. A lot of rice. Now let's see our chicken. How much chicken each? Now I, I like I said, I have almost things. I'll say about that. I can't go by pieces because the pieces vary, you know. Yeah, it's a bit smaller. Okay, so this is like one portion. Now this was made using three chicken breasts, but like I said, in Australia, our breasts are bigger. It is very true. So you might be using more, but you know, you get the idea. All right, so there you have it. Eight meals at under $4 each. And this will take you through the week. If you have one a night, six nights a week, you've got two spare. You can give it to a homeless guy. Or you could eat extra clean on. In front of the homeless guy. <laughs> Look at that, there you have it. Also, you see all this residual juice? Right over your eyes. Oh, why would you let okay. it? That's not fat. You Finishing see, touches. This is chi this is chicken juice, man. Is that pure? This is pure essence of chicken. Nature's finest. And look at this, all that a delicious meal that won't break the bank. Great on the budget. Three dollars seventy-five for. a for each one of these, that's fantastic. It's a great deal. And on top of that, oh, oh, surplus! On top of all that, sometimes you get a little bit of extra chicken juice, which is- Damn it! In conclusion, degustation. All right, so we've got a bit of extra, so I'm gonna make a little tasting plate for our director here. Oh, that's, that's delicious, I love that. This is my favorite part. All right, you need camera? You got chicken juice in your head. Mm. Nice pepper chicken. It's quite firm as well, like everything in combination. It's very fibrous, it's good. Helps your you know metabolism. 